Hey there, welcome back. It's Josh with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. And today we've got a splatter ball gun. Uh, we've done a lot of reviews of splatter ball guns. My son, Dylan, and I are gonna demonstrate this thing in action. But this is the AKM 47 splatter ball gun. The brand was nice enough to send us two of them, knowing that my 10 year old son and I like to uh, test these out and play with them. So this was sent to us free of charge, but we've had a lot of these. And um, let me tell you a little bit about what's in the box here and uh, some of the differences here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Uh, I've already got the gel beads uh, hydrated here so that I've got some here in the uh, container. I like that they have a, a lid on it. It came with some uh, paper cups for use of uh, mixing up the gel beads. So this is kind of interesting. The gel beads, uh, there's three packs of them. I already poured one into a Ziploc bag. Uh, one of the interesting things on this was they sent pretty precise directions in this little scoop on uh, one scoop to one of these cups, and I think it's 200 milliliters of water. I haven't really seen that level of, uh, you know, mixing instructions in a lot of these guns, so we'll end up throwing a whole packet in uh, and having just tons and tons of these um, these gel balls and more than we'll be shooting in, in quite some time. So then we have to store them, rehydrate them. Uh, anyway, I, I like that. I thought that was a pretty good little uh, difference. So let's get to the, uh, to the good stuff though. Uh, obviously it comes with, all of these usually come with some safety goggles and I do recommend using them. Uh, these things shoot at a, a decent enough uh, pressure. You could, you could seriously injure an eye. Uh, you have a USB charger that will uh, turn red uh, when charging and green when complete. So I think it might be flashing red, I don't, I don't recall. And two batteries. So here's one of the extra batteries. The other battery I've already placed in the gun. And there's a little tab here you bring open and the battery goes right in there. So I like the easy removable batteries. Uh, you never know when you're gonna have problems with batteries. And um, I don't remember what the charge time on out, but it, it wasn't too bad. Power button underneath right here. So you turn this, uh, turn this on and you will got the shooting action there. There's a piece that goes on top that uh, is the, the kind of the funnel that feeds the gel beads or the, um, the gel balls into there. And then you take this lid off. Actually, I'll let my son demonstrate how you load the gun. To attach the Orbeez or the gel balls, whatever you want to call them, if like you don't go like that, you flip the gun upside down and then you screw it in like that. Make sure you can make it as tight as you can and then you're ready to shoot. There's also an on and off switch right there to turn it on and off. So, uh, I like this. And uh, let's just show it in action and we'll hear what my son has to say about it. Again, this is probably the seventh or eighth different uh, gel blaster gun we've had. So check it out. So, Bud, uh, we've had a, a number of uh, Orbeez guns. What do you think about this particular one? They're, um, I think they're lightweight and easy to load. And they shoot pretty good. Yeah, and they come with two batteries, two rechargeable batteries. So, uh, it's easy to keep the gun going for a while. I want you to run, run one battery out. Easy to fill. The Orbeez are uh, pretty good. Two thumbs up. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot.